You are now watching Tales from the Grid. Oh my God. It's morphin' time! <laughs> That's right, baby! Let's check in with Pam and Jordan over at the Power Rangers team right now on Hasbro PulseCon. <laughs> So first, we revealed during Power Week our unfrozen caveman Coda from Dino Charge. So this is going to be a first look at the physical product. Jordan, do you want to tell us a little bit about Coda? I would love to check him out. Coda from Dino Charge comes with his core team weapons, the Dino Charger and the Dino Saber, with a lightning blast effect that accompanies the Saber. Um, let me flip it back to the front. Revealed during Power Week, we revealed Zoe from Beast Morphers. This is a completely new sculpt, and here's a first physical look at the product. Check her out and all her Beast Morphers. Glory. Uh, one of the things I do want to point out is how cool the portrait and especially her hair looks. Loretta specked a uh, kind of two-tone effect with a base molded color that's darker and kind of dry brush effect that is a little bit lighter. So you get that multi-dimensional blonde hair effect. Also, big fan of the Beast Morphers design. We are announcing Wild Force Putrid. Putrids. Check him out. Yeah, so we always relish in the opportunity to release more foot soldiers in the team, or in, in the Lightning Collection, rather, and having a Wild Force character is a little bit of a zag at this point. We are actually announcing Dino Fury Green Ranger Izzy. I hope everyone is able to catch the second half of the Dino Fury that actually dropped yesterday, available on Netflix for English-speaking markets um, or for local broadcasters around the world. But she looks amazing. Yes, Link to Morphin Grid. Uh, no spoilers in the chat, by the way. The, the second half of the season just dropped and there's some very exciting things that happened. So I've heard I'm behind. No spoilers again, please. There are some teams out there that are close to being finished, which are Lost Galaxy, SPD, and Dino Thunder. What? We're launching in 2023, the Alien Rangers. Our nor next Zord Ascension project is gonna be from In Space. Check it out. Da, 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 da. That's right. We're moving straight into in space with the Astro Megazord. Um, when we, when I was pitching Zord Ascension Project internally, this is actually the product that I was envisioning. Uh, it has this this character, the Astro Megazord, really checks all the boxes of something that we want to ascend with the Zap uh, project. Our morphed Cami Ranger, who is the Singing Crane Ranger, and Ken, our Soaring Falcon Ranger. And Sam, tell us a little bit about why these characters are named what they are. What's the meaning? Yeah, so, you know, we did Ryu and Chun-Li, and they had their names that came from the game, and we wanted to keep that kind of vibe going. We wanted to have flying animals, and eventually we narrowed it down to birds. And there are bajillion birds in the wor world, but we picked some awesome ones. And then we wanted to kind of keep them in that sort of active feel, so we have the soaring falcon. And then for Cami, we want I put in that Easter egg to her codename from the lore of Street Fighter. And it's kind of fun to get to do little stuff like that and have these completely original characters that we get to add in to our line and kind of backwards into our lore. Um, and these two in particular, even though I'm a Guile main, I kind of love these, uh, how, your take on these. So how'd we end up here? Yeah, as you know, we went through a couple character iterations. It wasn't just these guys from the start, but after talking to Capcom and going through our um, different concepts, we actually really loved the idea of mirroring Ryu with Ken, since they appear so often to be the duality of each other and being near images and versing each other a lot. We really loved bringing them to life. Um, so we've done that in a couple ways with him. Like we have, again, those beefy arms that we did for Ryu, but he has his own shield armor. Um, that's something that we wanted to create cohesion with all of them. All four have a, a shield armor, which is something, yes, that ties them together and ties the bird element together. So you'll see like he has the feather detailing kind of in the shield. Should we show you yeah. one? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm so excited. Whoa. 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 Whoa.
Tessa? Do you want to have a little Tessa's next. Yes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, oh my God. So, it's kind of hard to believe that we're celebrating our 30th anniversary. You look too good for that. <laughs> hey, but we're excited to be here on set, and I can't wait to celebrate and see you guys next year. You know what time it is? It's Morphin Time. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. We love your Ranger Nation. Yeah. Go.